Hi, good evening everyone. This is Giovanni. Welcome to Grammar Class 101. Yes, I hope you had a good day. Yes, amazing day. Welcome to you all then. Let's go. Sentence or fragment. Yes. Note that not all group of words form a complete sentence. Other groups of words may be fragments. Fragments, there is something missing. Alright. Fragments are group of words that do not express a complete idea. So meaning, maybe the sentence or yes, the phrase has no uh, subject or something missing, a predicate. So that makes it fragment. Yes. Fragment sentence. So for example, guys, we have in here fragment and sentence. The money you gave me. That's a fragment. Yes, something missing. Or yes, a subject or a predicate. Predicate. Sentence to make it complete idea yes i lost the money you gave me for the bet and another fragment example is six fighting cocks in the coop coop guys is something like a small cage you're in chicken are put into in yes and to make it a full sentence you still have six fighting cocks in the coop yes and Yes, we have tried try to take a look in this example conversation wherein there are two characters, Castor and Class. Castor, do you really want to know? Is it a fragment or a sentence? The answer is, it is a sentence. Interrogative form. Another, Class said. Sure, sure, Sigina. Is it a sentence or a fragment? This is a fragment. Yes, something missing. Castor, well, get one of your cocks. Sentence or a fragment? Yes, this is a sentence. Kind of imperative. You're all to do. Imperative. I'll show you. That's declarative. It's a form of declarative sentence. Colas, any one of my cocks? Oh, that's a fragment. It's not complete. Okay. Castor, any cock? It doesn't matter. That's declarative. It's a sentence. Yes. Colas. Here, Castor. Here's the cup. That's declarative form. Here's the cup. Yes. Castor. Now, get me a needle. That is an imperative. That's a sentence. Colas. A needle. That's fragment. Yes, Castor. Yes, a needle. That's fragment. That thing that your wife's our wife uses for sewing. That's fragment. Yes, referring to a thing, it's a certain. That's the kind of a thing. That's a fragment. So there is a, this is an important note, guys. That in writing, it is important to use complete subjects and complete predicates. Predicated, this is something that tells or describe about the subject to avoid misunderstanding. So, if one of these parts or both are missing, yes, the sentence may be grammatically incorrect, and that's what we call that's what we call a fragment. So, avoid using fragments in writing, except if the writing will be used in a speech, because in a speech or a discourse, guys. We have this, uh, um, we use in a verbal, but then again, the message is intended to be understood is uh, described, can, or may be described, or can be described in a form of our gestures, just to convey the message. So as long as we are going, we, we, we know, we convey the message, and it is understood through gestures, yes. The message is sent and understand, received and understood. It can be understood. This is all right. But in writing, we observe subject, 
complete subject, complete predicate. Okay, to avoid fragment. Okay, so let's check. Number one, yes, you can pause this video and try to test take time. Yes, number one, strike it on a rock. This one, is it fragment or sentence? I did not put the answer, but basically the answer for this sentence is a sentence. This is a sentence. <laughs> this is a sentence. This is a uh, strike it on a rock is imperative. No. Number two is if I lose now, so what? This fragment. Something missing. Okay. Number three, you will not be cheating. Yes, you will not be cheating. It's a declaration. Uh, you will not be cheating. It's declarative. Then it is a sentence. Okay. Number four, what a man, this kulas. So what happened? So therefore, this is fragment. Number five, excuse me, following the uh, loss. So what's now? This is fragment. Okay? Maybe next time, guys, I will teach you how to correct a fragment form into a complete form sentence. Yes. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something. And thank you for dropping by in this channel and see you for my next video. Thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> what happened to this literally? Thank you, yes. Bye-bye.